For the past few weeks, many websites have been reporting with conflicting news about the GTA 6 release date. Some claim it will be in early 2025, while others believe there will be a delay and the game will likely not be released until 2026. This is about articles like the one recently published on Kotaku, saying, GTA 6 production reportedly falling behind. Rockstar urges staff to return to office to avoid delay. Okay, so I recently reported to you about the situation with Rockstar employees. In short, from April they are forced to switch from remote work to working in the office five days a week, and many employees are not happy with this. That's one of the reasons people are saying the game is going to be delayed. Kotaku said, officially unveiled in December 2023, after a massive 2022 leak, GTA 6 is the hotly anticipated follow-up to 2013's GTA 5. Over a decade after that game's release and its massive, still-growing sales numbers, Rockstar Games is hard at work on the sequel, which is set in Vice City, a fictional take on Miami, Florida. The game is set to come to PS5 and Xbox Series sometime in 2025, and internally, that's still the plan. Kotaku was told by sources with knowledge of the situation that early 2025 is currently the goal. However, Kotaku has also learned that it's becoming more and more likely that the sequel might not land until late 2025. It's also possible that it could even slip into 2026 as production reportedly falls behind. In February, following numerous leaks, Bloomberg reported that Rockstar Games was mandated mandating its employees to return to work five days a week in the office beginning in April. The short notice and drastic change caught many by surprise, and has led to frustration from staff who feel like they are being pushed out after being hired remotely, as reported by Aftermath on March 19th. While security and quality are reportedly the main reasons Rockstar is instituting the mandate to return to the office, I was told by sources, who wish to remain anonymous, to avoid possible retaliation, that development on GTA 6 has started falling behind. I'm told this has leadership at Rockstar nervous and worried about the game missing the 2025 window and slipping into 2026 and is another big reason the company is pushing for a return to the office in April. At the moment, I'm told that Rockstar is still aiming for GTA 6 to arrive in spring 2025. While an early 2025 release is the goal, sources say they aren't sure if this will happen and a fall 2025 launch seems more plausible and feasible. Meanwhile, delaying the game to 2026 is on the table as a sort of fallback plan or emergency option if needed. And of course, of course, it should be noted, and I was reminded when talking to folks about this situation, that Rockstar Games historically waits until the last minute to make changes or alter plans, so the next trailer for the game, no word on when to expect that, might not reflect a delay as the company pushes forward on development. Even if the game is internally pushed back until late 2025 or is publicly delayed until 2026, that doesn't mean workers, who are being forced to return to the office against their wishes, won't have to crunch. In fact, sometimes delays just mean more crunch. So, news from Kotaku did not sound too optimistic. But the situation does not end there because insights from Insider Gaming, however, offer a different perspective, confirming that GTA 6 is still on track and that news of a delay is merely speculation. Mike Straw, senior editor for Insider Gaming, reacted to the Kotaku article with a post on X, saying this again since people are still running with it. I've reached out to multiple sources and was told the game was on schedule and that any suggestion of a delay at this point in development is pure conjecture. What's interesting is that Kotaku up updated their article, probably because of a lot of hate they received on X. Kotaku has now heard from more sources that while early 2025 was at one point possible, it's no longer the target for GTA 6's launch. As for why some believe this was the case, it seems this information was out of date and a symptom of Rockstar Games tightening security and communication within the company. I'm told not everyone is always on the same page or kept up to date across the various departments and teams. Personally, I can confirm it's become harder to nail down details since the leaks. However, the majority majority of sources were certain that early 2025 is no longer possible. Instead, the target is firmly fall 2025. And while most seem confident of hitting that date, I'm still told there is a possibility of a delay, as previously reported. I was sure that Kotaku would retract their earlier misinformation that GTA 6 would be delayed, but to my surprise, they still claim that the game will be delayed at least until fall 2025. At this moment, there is absolutely no information confirming this fact, and according to what we know based on Take-Two's revenue projections, GTA 6 is currently scheduled for release in the first three months of 2025. Of course, the fact it is currently scheduled to release in the first quarter of next year does not mean it will. As with every game, delays are possible. It happened in the case of both GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. In less than two months in May, we'll hear more about the Take-Two revenue projections, which may be updated and spoil a new timeline for GTA 6's release date. Rockstar, Jason Schreier, and the various leaks we've gotten are our best sources, and all of them point to an early 20. 2025 or fall 2025.
2025 launch at the latest, not 2026. But then again, Kotaku could be right and we could just be coping. The last time this happened was when Jason reported that GTA 6 was in early development in 2020. Leakers and other reputable sources came out and said that wasn't the case, but now we know Jason was right. I'll be updating you about everything. Maybe there will be some official Rockstar announcement regarding this, so make sure to be subscribed and to hit the bell.